Hey guys, it's Milmi here with another Xcode tutorial. And as you can see, um, we're going to be doing a tiny bit of ASCII today. Um, a very tiny bit of ASCII. Um, I'm going to be teaching how to convert strings into the decimal values of ASCII. Um, now, this is the Wikipedia here. And you can see this is what ASCII stands for, the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And it's basically how all the um, characters on your keyboard are encoded um, and you can see here it goes ASCII codes represent text in computers, communications equipment and other devices that use text um, and most common character encoding schemes are based on ASCII um, though there are they support many more characters than ASCII does so what we're going to be learning is how to convert what the user types in into the decimal value of ASCII because ASCII has many different values and if I go to this other table here um, I'll post this link in the description you can see that it has a the decimal value for letters it has the octa octadecimal I think value hexadecimal value and the binary values and also the HTML numbers and HTML names and obviously the symbol that you have on your keyboard so the, ASCII can encode characters into all these different values, starting at binary, I believe. Um, so as you can see here, space is the binary number 00100000. Um, and you've got 32 as the decimal number. And this is what we're interested in. We're interested in the decimal numbers, not the octadecimal or hexadecimal or binary. We're interested in the decimal. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you today, how to convert them into their decimal numbers. Um, so you can see here we're going down, we've got capital A's, we've got lowercase a's and all the alphabet here, we've got all the characters and we've got the extended alphabet here, um, you've got the dollar sign, uh, sorry euro sign, that's not the dollar sign, um, you've got accents above letters here, you've got the OE used in certain languages, tilde sign, degree sign so you, you can see here you've got all the letters um you have and you can possibly type on your keyboard and i'm going to be teaching how to convert them into the ascii decimal numbers so without further ado uh let's get started um hopefully this should be a relatively short tutorial from now on so we're going to create a new project uh single based um not using storyboard not using arc um well let's just go ahead and use arc there's no harm in not um, okay, I'm going to call this ASCII decimal, well, can't spell, decimal values, decimal values, there you go, um, save it to desktop, and uh, we don't need anything in the .h, so what I'm going to do is just create something in the view did load that will be able to just convert a string, each individual character in the string, into an ASCII value, uh, and then give it back to us and then give the total of that entire string. So uh, let's go do that. So we're going to have, um, first of all, we're going to have to create our string. So this is going to be start string. So this is going to be the first string. And that's going to equal A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, that will do. Um, so now what we need to know is the individual characters, uh, individual decimal values for each of these characters. So to do that, we're going to first need to do a for loop um, and we're also going to need a total integer because the total integer is going to be added to. So we're going to have the total integer here, so it's going to be total and we're going to make it equal to zero just to be safe. And let's just put a little comment in here. So we're going to convert each character. Now that's important, it's going to be each character, not the entire string, just each individual character. Character to ASCII decimal decimal values and we'll just put a colon on there and now we do a for loop now I don't think I've done for loops on my channel but they work basically by adding an integer until the integer um, doesn't match the condition anymore so if I type out for here you see it all automatically oops automatically completes for me and you can see you have initialization, condition, increment, and statements. Now, initialization is an integer, so we're going to have int i equals zero. Condition is going to be if i is less than both 
um, it is less than the start string length, then we can carry on. So we're going to go i plus i plus plus. Um, so that basically a for loop works by going if this statement is correct or true, then carry on. If it's false, then don't. And it becomes false by going through the loop each time. So as it goes through the loop, it will go right i add add to i. That will make i get closer and closer to the length of this string. And when it eventually is false then this won't happen anymore. So that means we've run through the entire string. Um, so first we're going to need to create an integer in here. This is going to be the ASCII code, if you like. So ASCII code. And this is going to equal the start string character at index i. So this basically means every time it goes through the for loop, it goes to the character index i of the start string. Now when this for loop starts, i equals zero. So this character here will be the first letter, which will be a, because that's index zero. As then it goes through again. Now the second time it goes through, i is being added to once. So i will now equal one, which means it goes to the second character. And then it will go through again, it gets two, third character, and so on. That, that's how this will work. And then what we're going to need to do is log the ASCII code. So we're going to log. Um, and because this is going to be going many times, I'm going to put a slash n here so it will make it look nice when we go when we look at it in a log. Um, and I'm just going to put something like ASCII decimal value uh, value. And then it's going to equal. And now we want the percent i for the integer. Oops, percent i. Um, and then make it look nice again so nothing gets crowded and then ASCII code. So this will basically, this line here is actually just converting it for us. This is what it does. It just converts the string into the integer by doing that. So that's very useful of C to do that for us. It will automatically give us the integer back of the value. And finally, we need to add to our total. So it's total equals total plus and then the ASCII code and this will be our total and then then after then at the end of the for loop we can log our total and let's log total we'll, put a, well no we don't need the one there uh, total um, is and then percent i and then we put our total integer in so I know that sounds kind of confusing if you get your head around the for loop you'll be able to understand um it takes a while for you to get your head around it but when you get it you get it um so i'm gonna run here and all you will see is loads of stuff happening in the log here um, you can see it will run and i'm a total idiot <laughs> because i've put everything in the view did unload so let me just control x all of this uh huh and put this in the view did load i'm pretty sure some of you might have been screaming at me whilst i was doing that because you're like you've done it in the wrong method um okay so you'll see a load of things happen here in the log and as you can see it just logged it straight away because you know code is very fast um and as you can see here we get the decimal value of the first letter which is 65 and if i just grab my um thing here if i can bring it down um Mm, let me just shrink this uh, if I can get it shrinked. Um, okay. So you can see here the first letter is 65. Here you go, 65, A, capital A. There you go, decimal value 65. And the next one was capital B, decimal value 66. Next one was C, capital value 67. As you can see, it's actually converted it to the decimal values. And then as you can see here, it gives us the total of 476. So there you go, guys. That's how you convert to ASCII or how you convert characters in C to ASCII and how you can convert the individual characters and then get the total. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, as long as you can get your head around the for loop, it should be relatively simple. This is the only line of code that actually converts to ASCII. The rest of it is just for our sake, for telling us the information. 
Um, so this is the code, the line you want, um, and that will convert the character to ASCII. Uh, well, to the decimal ASCII, um, not just ASCII, because ASCII is just the kind of format, um, the way of encoding. There's lots of different other things that I showed you. Um, so the ASCII decimal values. Um, so yes, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Failgate Apps. If you have any questions, either you know mention me on uh, Twitter or post a comment in this video. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.